of a standoff between Kenya and Tanzania over maize imports. Tomato traders say imposition of strict measures on maize imports from neighboring countries over high levels of aflatoxin has seen Tanzanian counterparts withholding tomatoes, which has seen the price of the produce in Kenya shoot up. Last month, Kenya lifted a blanket ban on maize imports from Uganda and Tanzania and imposed strict conditions on exporters in a move aimed at curbing shipping in of aflatoxin infected produce. However, the directive has ruffled feathers with tomato traders from the neighboring country holding the commodity in protest. A 60 kilogram crate of tomatoes is retailing at about 9,000 shillings, up from the previous low of 3,000 shillings. Elsewhere, traders in Eldoret are urging the worst in Gishu County government to allow them operate on a 24-hour basis. This follows the refurbishment of the main wholesale market. Nimeanza pa biashara from 1998 paka sahi. Sahi kuna mabadiliko. Soko ni safi, tunezafanya kazi ata 24 hours. hours lakini balo tujarusiwa kufanya kazi. Iyo 24 hours, but soko yetu ni safi. They argue that with COVID-19 disruptions, traders need a longer period to transact business. Finally, listed agricultural firm Kakuzi has announced a free fruit maturity testing service for smallholder avocado farmers for the current harvest period. As part of the firm's outgrower development programs, Kakuzi will provide free maturity testing services during the current harvest period that runs to August this year. The service will ensure compliance with quality standards and enhance the value of Kenyan fruits in the global market. The Kakuzi Avocado Smallholder Program focuses on the economic empowerment of smallholder avocado farmers through sharing skills and knowledge on avocado growing and overall good agricultural practices. The testing service also targets to help boost the national branding objectives geared at positioning Kenya as a quality avocado food source market. Regina Manyara reporting for Channel One Business.